City Council is working to make sure your streets are safe. Good evening, I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. That's as electric scooter companies are preparing to bring those scooters right here to Chattanooga. They're already in bigger cities and complaints and problems have come hand in hand with their introduction. Kylie Thomas is live downtown to break down what city leaders are doing now. Kylie. That's right, city leaders say electric scooters could hit Chattanooga streets here any day now. So they're digging into state law and driving Crafting up some regulations right now, trying to make sure our city doesn't deal with the issues that other cities already have. Whether it's a grocery run or snagging the mail, Linda Bradford avoids the car. I walk everywhere I can. That's why she chooses the downtown lifestyle, but her walks will likely come with some new visitors. Councilman Erskine Oglesby says several electric scooter companies plan to bring their scooters to Chattanooga. He says Lime already has a business license in the city. Yeah, in California and like San Francisco, Los Angeles, yeah, they're kind of um, just kind of piled up. Isabel Malone has seen the negative aspects of electric scooters, from leaving them in piles on sidewalks to people getting hurt on them. That'd be kind of a nuisance if they're allowed on like the road, <laughs> like the actual road, because I don't know how fast they'll be able to go, but probably not like as fast as the cars. I don't know, it might also be a nuisance on the sidewalk, so I don't know. <laughs> the city's attorney's office is composing an ordinance right now to deal with scooters on downtown streets. Oglesby says they're trying to get ahead of the problem. He believes if they regulate where people can ride and park, it could be great for the city. They need to be regulated for safety. Bradford says she'll switch up her routine to try out the new toys, expanding the way Chattanooga sees the scenic city. The mayor's office tells me they've been trying to find a solution to this problem since last fall. So once that ordinance is done that they're working on right now, they're going to host a public meeting. Uh, once they figure out a date for that, we'll be sure to keep you updated. Live downtown, I'm Kylie Thomas, New Channel 9. Kylie, thank you. Electric scooters have also arrived in cities like L.A., Washington, even Nashville.